there, there's a lot of talk about the UFC getting rid of the flyweight division. What are your thoughts on this situation for the flyweights? Um, it's been a lot of talk because nothing's come from the UFC. I mean, it's been like, all of it's been so far is rumor. I mean, with TJ Dillashaw dropping down the challenge for the one for the flyweight title, I don't, for, in my personal opinion, I don't foresee the division going anywhere. But at the, like you said, military, that's far above my pay grade. I can't really worry too much about what's going to happen then or, or who's ready to take over, that kind of thing. Um, I just know that uh, those are some great fighters and I don't foresee them going anywhere. I think it's unfortunate. I think there are a lot of great fights in that flyweight division, and I think these guys, uh, you know, don't deserve to all just be cut from the UFC. Um, so I hope they figure something out. Uh, at least, hopefully, one championship takes the whole flyweight division, or we'll see what happens. Yeah, you know, I mean, I believe it's a, a division that doesn't bring very much media attention or fans, but. You know, those guys are ninjas, and I believe they deserve a shot just like we do. And I believe the UFC shouldn't cut them. I have teammates who've worked their whole life to be in the UFC, and for them to cut their division right when they're there, uh, that's just a shame. So I hope they don't. But if they do, there'll be other opportunities and other promotions. I know there's not a lot of 25ers. But it is a fun division. I'm, I hope it's not true, but it's looking like it. But, I mean, it's the fight game. You never know. We, uh, we ride up and downs, and I hope they keep the division. I hope they we got some teammates that's on the 125 division and a lot of guys that I know, so hopefully they keep it around. And if they do get rid of it, hopefully they bring it back soon. It's not going to be the first time they got rid of a division. Like 155 back in the day, they got rid of that for a few years, and boom, before you know it, they were back again. So hopefully if that happens, we can do the same thing again. I have no idea, like, I, it doesn't, I don't understand why, um, but it, it has no direct, you know, like, effect on me, so I don't really pay it any, any mind or attention. I think that the UFC, they, they make decisions based off of what they think is best for, you know, for us, for the company, for everything, so I trust them. Um, I think it's uh, honestly it's an unfortunate um, situation just because I do have a lot of teammates at Team Alpha Male that are a part of the flyweight division um, and it's unfortunate because I feel like they're one of the most talented divisions but unfortunately for whatever reason a lot of the MMA fans don't really pull for those kind of fights and I think that's why they're trying to get rid of it I mean I hope they don't um, I do know that they're TJ Dillashaw and Henry Cejudo are fighting next year in January for the title um, so we'll see what happens then, but it'd be unfortunate for them to get rid of it just because, like I said, you know, they all have families and stuff and, and you know, they've spent many years and many years to be able to support themselves to, to not be able to have that platform is going to be very unfortunate. I know that there's other, other organizations that are open that might be, they might be able to work with, but, you know, um, I, I think that hopefully they can, they can still pull through. I do believe that, like I said, it's one of the best, you know, divisions in, you know, in the UFC.